This is the new G5 command center for the new BCS20 and BCS home. Like the previous models, all the water connections can be found at the back of the unit. The new interactive LCD is found on the front of the unit and is used to control the hydro tap and turns it on and off. The filter door houses the internal filter, which needs to be fitted during installation. Here's what you should receive in your new G5 hydro tap box. A command center, braided water hose, braided CO2 hose, preset regulator, CO2 bottles, IEC power lead, quick guide instructions, which include a QR code link to the installation video you're now watching. You'll also receive the tap or faucet ordered with your HydroTap purchase. The tap or faucet installation videos are separate to the command center videos and can also be viewed on the ZIP website. To install your HydroTap correctly, ventilation is critical to its correct operation. Air gaps of 50 millimeters left and right and 200 millimeters above the command center need to be provided. This is to allow air to circulate around the command center. Also, a cutout in the lip of the cupboard for the cold air inlet grill should also be fitted. Next, remove the dust caps from the outlets and remove the cap from the mains in. Mixer in and mixer out are not required, so leave the dust caps on. Next, we need to connect the command centre to the mains water supply. Use the supplied braided hose for this connection. Connect the end with the elbow to the mains in on the command centre. Do this connection up finger tight and then tighten the last quarter to half a turn with a shifting spanner. Next, connect the other end of the braided hose to the cold water supply stopcock. Tighten this the same way. The tap of the hydro tap is electronic and the USB cable needs to be connected. Connect the female USB cable from the command centre to the male USB cable from the tap. Make sure you orientate them correctly. You should hear a click when the cables have been connected properly. Once they're connected, wind up the cable and secure it at the rear of the cupboard. This is just to keep it out of the way of mechanical or water damage that may occur in the cupboard. As these are sparkling models, you'll need to fit a CO2 bottle to the unit. The regulator needs to be fitted to the bottle. The regulator should have a washer pre-fitted to it and a spare washer cable tied to the regulator. Do the regulator up finger tight and then use your shifting spanner to make that nice and tight. The securing olive is cable tied to the braided hose. Cut the cable tie and fit the olive into the end of the CO2 hose. Then take the CO2 braided hose and connect it to the bottom of the regulator. Again, tighten the connection up finger tight, then the last quarter to half a turn with a shifting spanner. Now we need to secure the bottle to the cabinet and the CO2 hose to the command centre. There are two Velcro securing straps supplied with your hydro tap. They need to be secured to the cupboard wall with the screws provided. Then attach the Velcro straps, one towards the top and one towards the bottom of the bottle. Now connect the other end of the braided CO2 hose to the CO2 in connection on the top of the command center. Once you've connected the CO2 bottle to the command center, it's time to turn on your CO2 bottle and check for leaks. Turn on the CO2 regulator and to check for leaks, just take a sponge and some soapy water and dab the soap suds around the connections you've made on the regulator and the command center. If you see any bubbles appearing, just tighten up your connections. Next, the hoses need to be connected to the command center. The red silicon hose is for boiling water out. You need to have constant fall from the tap to the command center. Measure and cut the silicon hoses to length. Push the silicon hose onto the nib so that at least 15 millimetres of the nib is covered by the hose. Cable ties or clamps are not required as the silicon hose will hold itself to the nib. Do the same with the clear silicon hose for the vent connection. Also in the tap box, you'll find some insulation. This is to insulate the chilled and sparkling hoses. Fold the insulation in half and then cut or break it. Then feed the blue and white John Guest hoses through the insulation. Next, fit the supplied Y connector to the spare pipe on the bottom of the tap. The carbonation valve is used to adjust the flow of the sparkling water from the tap. This adjustment needs to be made with either an Allen key or a flat blade screwdriver. 
this adjustment needs to be made after the commissioning stage of the G5 HydroTap. Fit the carbonation valve to the bottom of the Y piece. Next, mark up the chilled and sparkling hoses for the HydroTap. Use the white John Guest hose to connect the carbonation valve to the sparkling out. Use the blue John Guest hose to connect the chilled water out to the Y piece. Remember that the carbonation valve will need to be adjusted later in the process. Your hydro tap is designed to be used frequently, so only commission the hydro tap if you're planning on using it straight away. The filter for the hydro tap comes loose in the filter compartment. Open the filter door, remove the plastic wrapping from the filter, and fit the filter into the filter head. Locate the filter, push it up, and turn it clockwise. The filter will stop turning when it's in place. An innovation from Zip Water is HydroTap Clean. HydroTap Clean is a naturally produced cleaning product that's gentle on surfaces and pH neutral. HydroTap Clean has been specially designed for HydroTap chilled and sparkling water paths. HydroTap Clean is to be used during the commissioning process of your HydroTap, which is the final step in installation. Almost all the process is automated so that every hydro tap can be commissioned to the same standard. However, we've introduced a few steps, so please watch this video closely to see what's new. The hydro tap has been designed to be used frequently and straight after use. Do not start the commissioning stage if you're not planning on using the hydro tap for a few weeks or months. Wait to commission the hydro tap just before you need to use it. The first screen on the LCD also reminds you of this. From the commissioning screen, press the arrow. On the next screen, the date and time can be adjusted to suit your time zone. Touch the screen on the date or time to change it. The time can also be changed to 24 hour time. The next screen asks you to select the drain away option. This simply means if your tap or faucet is installed to dispense into a sink or the specially designed zip font. If you select Sink Container, the flushing process from the tap will be automatic. If you select Font, you'll need to use the tap or faucet to dispense water during the commissioning process. Next, the internal filter needs to be flushed. Using a bucket, place the filter flush hose in the bucket and open the stopcock. Press the play button and the filter flush process will start. This process is timed to take two minutes. If you need to pause the filter flush, press the pause button on the LCD. When you're ready to resume the filter flush, press the play button. Once the filter flush has stopped, turn the stopcock off and give it a shake. Press the arrow button to go to the next screen. Put the flush hose back in the filter compartment and close the filter door. Next, we need to prime the HydroTap system. This means that all the water paths inside the hydro tap will have water passed through them for the first time. Please make sure the CO2 bottle regulator is turned off or disconnected from the hydro tap before you start this process. Press yes once you've confirmed this. Press the play button to start the system priming. Water may dispense from the tap or faucet during this process. Once complete, we need to prepare for the hydro tap clean process. You'll need a microfiber cloth, HydroTap Clean adapter, and a HydroTap Clean can. Both the adapter and HydroTap Clean can are supplied with the HydroTap command center. First, fit the cloth underneath the internal filter. This is to catch any water that may spill in the HydroTap when you remove the filter. Next, remove the filter, and once removed, refit the dust cap of the filter to keep the filter protected. The adapter must be fitted to the internal filter head first. This adapter will fit in and turn a quarter turn before it's secured in place. Make sure the filter flush hose is off. Next, remove the green lid from the HydroTap Clean can. The can is designed to screw into the bottom of the adapter. Gently fit the can underneath the adapter and tighten. Press the next arrow and the next screen wants you to confirm you've fitted the HydroTap Clean can and you're ready to start the commissioning process. Next, the HydroTap will need to calibrate. 
press the play symbol to start the process. At the same time the boiling water tank is calibrating, the hydro tap clean process will also occur. When you press the play symbol, you'll see the boiling tank commissioning screen. At the bottom of the screen, there's an arrow button to take you to the chilled cleaning screen. This will show you a picture of the tank and the solenoids inside the hydro tap. This will open and close during the process. Both the boiling calibration and hydro tap clean processes are automated and take about 10 minutes to complete. Once the hydro tap clean process is complete, the chilled and sparkling water tanks will flush out the cleaning solution. Once the flush has been completed, the hydro tap will ask you to remove the hydro tap clean can and adapter. Remove them both separately, can first, then adapter. Both these can be put into recycling. Next, remove the dust cap from the filter and reinstall the filter to the filter head. Mop up any spilt water with the cloth and remove the cloth. Once the boiling calibration is finished, a tank flush will need to be performed. This will happen automatically unless the boiling water temperature is over 50 degrees Celsius or you selected font at the beginning of the commissioning process. Press the play button to start. Once the boiling water temperature is below 50 degrees Celsius, the tank flush will become automatic. Once complete, the screen will ask you to connect and turn on the CO2 bottle. If you have a preset regulator, turn the regulator fully on. If you need to set the pressure of the CO2, set it to 300 kPa or 43 psi. Once connected, press the play button to start the CO2 purge, which will take 30 seconds. The carbonation valve should now be adjusted using an Allen key or large flat blade screwdriver. The carbonation valve needs to be adjusted so the sparkling flow rate is between 1.2 and 1.8 litres per minute. To adjust, first close the carbonation valve by turning it clockwise. Then open the carbonation valve one and a half turns. Check the flow from the tap and measure how much water has been dispensed in 15 seconds. You can adjust the flow by tweaking the valve a quarter of a turn each time you adjust. You can register your hydro tap via a QR code. To do this, press the menu symbol, then register product, and the QR code will appear on the screen. Use your phone or tablet to scan the code and register your product. Please visit zipwater.com for any further help videos or information on your new hydro tap G5.